everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so september has come and gone and today we're going to be talking about the five movies that i saw this month guys what i said i was going to be doing in the month of september i didn't even end up doing it like like I said, September, well, I don't think I said it, but September was very long yet short because I felt like I saw Tenant like two months ago, but it was literally last month. But either way it goes, I said I was going to be doing like second chance September reviews. I never did a single one of those. I don't even know what happened, you guys. I just totally forgot to do them. So I don't know. At some point, I'll end up doing one. I'm not going to you know saying i'm going to do it now it's just gonna happen but let's go ahead and get on with this tier list you guys now i know i said i have five movies and there's seven movies on here i know how to count but i'm gonna uh, start this off with two movies that i totally forgot to mention last month i don't even know what the hell happened you guys i think i unlocked them on my letterbox i didn't log it down in my notebook that i have where i'm keeping track of everything that i've watched as well all right so let me put on my glasses. Yeah, I know the situation when it comes to this. I'm going to have to deal with the ring light on the glasses. First one is going to be Spree. I know they're not in order. But we're just going to go here at the end. That one was enjoyable. It is um, available to rent on demand. Uh, basically, it's the kid from Stranger Things. And, well, not the kid. Like, the teenager from Stranger Things. And he is a Spree driver, which would be, like, Uber or Lyft. And he really just wants to be like internet famous. The movie almost reminded me of this movie that my sister saw like way back when. I don't know what it's called, but basically they're murdering people to get views. His hashtag the lesson apparently. I don't really ever know what the lesson is. Maybe it's like the lesson of how to kill people. That might be what it is. It wasn't that much, I think, to rent, so I totally recommend it. Uh the other one is the Phineas and Fur movie, Candace versus the universe or the world i don't know you guys this cartoon was not the mi tiempo <laughs> I'm, I'm too old for this cartoon but i did see it because my sister wanted to see it because she did grow up with it honestly it's just for kids well i'm not putting not forgettable for kids um or not necessarily just for kids but like if you grew up with this particular cartoon i feel like you're going to enjoy it i did enjoy it but i don't have like that love for it where if i did grow up with it i may have put it up higher and i'm just somebody who would pass by the tv while she was watching it i would maybe like stop and see certain parts but I never like, I don't think I ever really saw a full episode to be honest with you. But let's go ahead and get on with the September movies. And we're going to start off with The Babysitter Killer Queen. And that movie honestly was enjoyable. I totally recommend part one over uh, this part. You can honestly definitely go without watching this particular movie. Uh, but basically, you know, it's we're following what happened in The Babysitter two years later. We do get the original cast back. You know, of course, they're older. We have one newcomer who I think she absolutely killed it. Um, I totally don't remember her name at this point. I'm terrible at it. I do have a full review uh, about this movie. In case you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. Um, anything that I did review on my channel, I will link down below so that way you can get the full review on it. There's of course a little loophole on why we get like the now demons who were the bad, uh, who were the villains in the first part. But definitely a movie we could have done without. It was the sequel that we didn't ask for, we didn't need. Yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to Tenet. So Tenet is what took me back into the theaters. Had a great time getting back in there. It's actually the only movie that I've seen back in theaters. So Tenet was um, actually pretty good. I have a video, it's like a vlog type video reaction. I didn't really review the movie, but I'll go ahead and put that down below as well. I do want to rewatch it, but I'm gonna actually just wait for it to uh, be on demand or for me to buy to rewatch it. I'm really not somebody who rewatches movies in theaters multiple times. Honestly, there's two movies that I've ever seen in theaters like more than twice. I know that I'm still not telling you guys a lot about the movie. I just, I really don't know really how to explain it, but it, I don't think it really is for everybody really didn't think it was hard to follow at all i was able to figure out a lot of things before it officially was revealed but moving on to i'm thinking of indian things i had so much fun doing that video you guys um if you have not seen that video i actually changed i think like four times within the uh, video it makes more sense when you see the movie this one 
This one is a complicated movie. This one is hard to follow. This one is a psychological thriller. It fucks with your mind. Since I've seen it, I have not stopped thinking about it. I totally recommend for everybody to see it. Honestly, out of everything on my list, this is like the main, main one that I totally feel like you should watch. I didn't even know what the fuck the movie was about, to be honest with you. It's an experience. Experience. I have never felt so uncomfortable watching a movie in my life. So with that said, obviously I'm going to put it into WOW because it is totally, totally memorable. It is a long one, you guys, but this movie is definitely not for everybody. Let's go ahead and move on to HBO Max's Un. Pregnant. I honestly didn't really know too much about this movie. I thought it was actually a really good movie. This one I think has fallen under the radar. But the movie is not really just about abortion. That's kind of just like the little side plot kind of deal. Even though it's like the purpose of the trip. But we really are just on this road trip. These two girls are former uh, BFFs. Bringing that friendship back together than it is about the abortion. Honestly, the movie is a comedy. It's like a light comedy. I did um, smile a lot throughout the movie. It didn't have me like laughing out loud. And it seems like a lot of people don't actually know these two actresses, but Hayley Lou Richardson, I absolutely loved her last year and Five Feet Apart. Oh my God, if you want a good like crying movie tearjerker oh my god that's like the perfect movie it's actually one of my favorite movies from last year and i've seen it in a couple other things and then barbie uh fair i don't know yeah i don't know how i went those things i've actually only seen her in euphoria the hbo uh, show euphoria absolutely love 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 that show you guys i can't wait for season two and lastly on my list would be enola holmes and that movie also was really good it was surprisingly good to be honest with you the movie was more than what i expected it to be but it is super super cute enola holmes is sherlock holmes's little sister enola holmes is played by Millie bobby brown and she does absolutely amazing in this film like like one of the best things that I've seen her in besides you know of course Stranger Things but other than this movie the only other thing that I remember seeing her in is Godzilla I really wasn't fond of her character in that movie but she does great if you're looking for a really really good time then I would recommend this movie even though there are a lot of subplots within the movie I honestly would have uh, preferred for them to have just focus on the disappearance of the mom and it also has a couple of really nice fight scenes but these are the movies that I saw in the month of September minus two that I saw in the month of August. Um, what did you guys see this month? Let me know down below. Did we see any of the same things? Where would you rank them on the list? And let's go ahead and get on with my little mini um, haul that I did this month. So first off is Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I actually have never seen this movie. There will be a review at some point for this particular movie off of my Hit Rewind. Up next, we have Interstellar. Um, this is going to be one of those that I was going to have incorporated into my Second Chance Sundays. I've seen it once. I wasn't that fond of it, but people seem to really, really love it. So I was just like, let me rewatch it. You know, maybe I missed something. And up next is Scott Pilgrim versus the World. This is the another one that I actually purchased for my Second Chance Sunday movies. Then we got a Predator. I saw this movie when I was little. I don't really remember it. Then finally we have Becky, which is one of my favorite movies of this year. But yeah, you guys, this is my little mini haul for the month of September. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. For you guys, click out of this video. Don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Till next time, I'll see you guys in concessions. Bye.